We begin tonight at 6 with the new developments in the case of a man accused of killing his wife and after running a week or spending a week on the run, that man is in police custody tonight. Good evening, I'm Mary Alice Demler. Hello again, I'm Scott Levin. 45-year-old Adam Benefield of Chituaga was arrested this afternoon and has already been arraigned on one count of murder and three counts of endangering the welfare of a child. Benefield is accused of shooting and killing his wife. 40-year-old Kiara Benefield last Wednesday morning while she was inside her car with their kids on Rich Lawn Avenue. Today, Buffalo police say that it was a tip that led to the coordinated effort to bring him into custody. This was a nonstop effort by our homicide squad, by officers within the district that were constantly keeping an eye out. But our community members are the eyes and ears of everything that happens in the community. So we are very grateful for that participation, that assistance with the community. So for those living in the neighborhood, it was a big relief to have this wanted man off the streets. And our Claudine Ewing spoke with residents and witnesses just after the arrest was made today. She joins us now live outside Buffalo Police Headquarters with that part of the story. Claudine. Scott Mary Alice, it was quite a scene today on Bissell Avenue when he was actually taken into police custody. In fact, neighbors on the street were cheering, but now Adam Benefield, as you mentioned, he's 45 years old. He has a murder charge to now deal with. Take a look at the video that we received today. This is video of him in police custody after one eyewitness saw police tackle him in the field. He didn't resist arrest because he was surrounded by officers. Some people saw him just around the corner from where he was captured at a shelter getting food just yesterday. Now, last week, one week ago today, his estranged wife, Kiera, was shot and killed in a car in front of her children on Richlawn and Shawnee in Buffalo. This was just a day after Cheektowaga police let him out of jail for a domestic violence incident. For one week, he's been on the run, but that ended today. Just yesterday, y'all thought he was in Atlanta or Oregon. I'm watching the news. So there you go. Think smart, think swift. Because the Coco Chanel mask was what was the giveaway. You have on a female mask, you're a man. And then it was the eye contact, the way that he was looking at me. So I called the police last night. And police now have him and he will be closely watched since he escaped from the uh, jail in Alden about 15 years ago or so. And so once again, once he goes before the judge, if he is convicted, he faces 25 years to life in prison. Outside of Buffalo Police Headquarters, Claudine Ewing, Channel 2 News.